should you buy the Surface headphones? So we are talking about the brand new Surface headphones. They announced last year and I have them here. Now the Surface headphones, of course, look and feel like a Surface product. The design aesthetic is similar. Microsoft logo also looks similar around. The build quality is really nice. That's the first thing I'll give this uh, pair of headphones from Microsoft. They've designed something that feels premium and also looks premium. Now it's priced at $349, so it's going in the same price range as the Sony um, WH-1000 Mark III's as well as also the Bose QC 35s So that's the, its competitive range right there. So what does Microsoft bring to the table? Well, there's the technology aspect, um, there's also the sound aspect, and then there's comfort, which we're gonna talk about. And finally, the most important is the audio quality. So let's start off with technology. And this pair of headphones comes packed in with a lot of features. Now, if you look around the he headphones on the right ear cup, you do have a power button, you've got a Cortana button, a USB Type-C port, and a 3.5 mm jack. The USB Type-C port allows for faster charging, it takes about two hours to charge, uh, but the battery life is only stated at 15 hours, which for me is a bummer because at least for something priced at this, uh, at this range, it should be at least 24 hours battery life minimum. A lot of headphones give you about 40 hours of battery life uh, in terms of use case. Now the Cortana button, you can either tap or you can actually just say Cortana and it will give you your Cortana functionality. So you can go ahead and uh, pause your music. You can switch tracks because it's linked. You can link it to your uh, streaming service. In my case, it's Spotify, so I can ask for Michael Jackson to play, I can ask for weather, I can ask for those, you know, voice assistant things that you like. Now it's not as in depth as say something like, you know, Google Assistant or even Alexa, but it still works really well and it's quite responsive. Now, uh, there's no word yet if you can use that with Google Assistant or you can actually pair that with these headphones, but you can also set up the headphones on the Cortana app. Again, I like it because it works to do the basic mu music things I want it to do. So the other thing to note is that it does connect to two devices at the same time. So I have it connected to my Galaxy Note 9 and the iPhone XS Max. Now on each ear cup, the left and right ear cup, you can pause and play. So if I put these on, if I tap it once, I can actually go ahead and play the music. If I tap it again, I can pause it. If I double tap, I can skip forward. If I triple tap, I can skip back. So you can do that either on the right or the left ear cup and you have that built in there. Now, if you take it off, it actually stops and pauses the music. A lot of technology built itself, so it's nice. So I can put it back on and my music starts playing again. I can take it off, my music stops. Um, so those kind of features are pretty nice with these headphones. And when you actually press that button, it also reduces the volume of the music so you can hear a conversation from somebody talking to you. The right ear cup also has the volume knob, so you can rotate it to increase the volume or reduce the volume. And the left one actually has the increase or decrease of your noise cancellation features, which is actually impressive. Uh, Microsoft have done a good job with the noise cancelling features on these pair of headphones and they are really, really good. I was quite surprised. Uh, they block out almost everything, but also gives you a very tight uh, noise cancelling space. And we'll get to that when we get to the audio for these pair of headphones. Now, let's talk about design and comfort next. These headphones, are they look really nice. I mean, they're well designed. You've got this very slick look, very minimalistic, two color tone, basically. You've got this kind of like the magnesium look that you find on your Surface laptop. And of course, you've got soft leather ear cups. Now, the ear cups have this interesting oval shape internally. It's not fully round in the internal aspect of ear cups. I guess it's to funnel the sound properly into your ears. The other thing that it gives you, it gives you a really tight grip around the lower and the top base of your ear. So when you're wearing this for longer periods of time, what I noticed is I kept on adjusting and adjusting and dropping and bringing up and down so that I could actually listen to music comfortably on these headphones. And that's also another bummer I had here is that I didn't get to I, I couldn't enjoy using these headphones for a longer period of time because I had to keep adjusting them. And that's something you don't want to do, especially something at this price point. Now, the headphones also have built-in microphones for a voice calls. 
And I've got to say, of all the noise casting headphones I've used and tested, they have probably the best microphones for voice calls. A lot of people have said like, you know, hey, that sounded really clear. And when I told them they were pair headphones, they're like, wow, okay, that's actually pretty good. So I really like the voice quality of the microphone, microphones here. I think Microsoft has done a really good job with these headphones. Now, moving on to audio. Now, the mic is pretty good. How does it sound? Like I said, the noise cancellation features, really good. It really gives you a nice sound stage uh, for just basically blocking out a lot of noise. Now, when you get to uh, listening to the music and what's the music calling, this is where it, it falls into a little murky territory because the noise cancellation is so good, it crushes a lot of the sound. So basically your highs and your mids get a little washed off. So you, you don't get your highs peaking as much. I was listening to uh, some Michael Jackson. I couldn't hear those highs rise up enough because the noise cancellation is affecting it. This is something I feel Sony has solved quite well and Microsoft hasn't in this case. Not comparing, but just giving you at least a standard point for you guys to actually understand. Uh, the lows are pretty good. These have more bass into them. So if you like bass, you will get that with these headphones. They sound much better than when I heard them at the Microsoft event. I didn't like the tuning then. It's got 40 mm drivers in here. Uh, the tuning is also much better with these headphones now. So they at least sound good. They sound really good when you plug them with a 3.5 mm jack. And speaking of that, it does come with a hard shell case. Uh, which has, of course, USB Type-C cables and a 3.5 millimeter cable as well. Nice, simple case uh, for you to carry around with it. Um, I do like the audio quality. I think it can be improved. I think just tweaking the ANC will get them there. But you're gonna ask the question, Thunder E, does it show up on the headphone wall? I would say not yet, because there are a couple of things that kind of keep it away from me. The battery life of 15 hours is not great, especially at this price point. Price point. Also, the fact that it is not that comfortable as well also puts it away at this price point. I think this is something that they can easily solve with a Gen 2 on an updated model uh, with these pair of headphones. But I do like the technology built in. I do like where their sound is. I want it to improve because the highs and mids are not getting to those nice peaks that it should. And I think they have a good start for their first pair of premium noise canceling headphones. So if you have any questions or any comments about these Surface headphones from Microsoft, let me know. I'll try and answer them for you. If you're still looking to pick them up, use our Amazon link down below. Like I said, they are a good pair of headphones. I'm just not comfortable with the price at $350 right now. It was maybe $279 or something. I'd say definitely go ahead and pick them up. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, hit the notification icon to get notified of our latest videos when you hit that subscribe button. Now, this is Thunder E saying thank you very much and always enjoy your entertainment. Thank you.